Thyroid storm is a rare but life-threatening condition that requires prompt diagnosis and management. It is a critical emergency presentation occurring in 1-2% to of hyperthyroid patients, with treated mortality rates reported between 8-25%. to In this lecture, we will discuss the diagnosis, management, and prognosis of thyroid storm in detail. The diagnosis of thyroid storm is clinical. Laboratory testing, although helpful, does not distinguish between thyrotoxicosis and thyroid storm. Treatment should be started immediately based on clinical findings. The key clinical features are fever, altered mental status, and signs of sympathetic overactivity. The Birch-Wartofsky scoring system is widely used and accepted to diagnose thyroid storm. A score of 45 or more is highly suggestive of thyroid storm. A score of less than 25 makes thyroid storm unlikely. Thyroid storm management, supportive care. Fever. The antipyretic of choice for persistent fever in thyroid storm is acetaminophen, since salicylates can interfere with thyroid hormone binding, thus increasing serum T3 and T4. Agitation. Benzodiazepines are preferred for chemical restraint. Hemodynamic instability. Intravenous fluids should be started immediately. Beware of high output heart failure. If hemodynamic instability persists, vasoactive drugs and ECMO should be considered. Thyroid storm management, blocking peripheral effects with beta blockers. Beta blockade is critical in the management of the peripheral actions of increased thyroid hormone. Propranolol is the most widely used beta blocker for thyroid storm treatment by decreasing conversion of T4 to T3. Other beta blockers, such as metaprolol and esmolol, have also been shown to be effective. Non-selective effects of beta blockade can also improve tremor, hyperpyrexia, and agitation. Relative contraindications include asthma and low-output heart failure not due to thyrotoxicosis. Thyroid storm management, inhibiting new synthesis with thionamides. Thionamides, including methimazole and propylthiouracil, inhibit the synthesis of thyroid hormone by blocking the organification of iodine within the thyroid. Methimazole is preferred over propylthiouracil because of its longer duration of action. Adverse effects of thionamides include hepatotoxicity and agranulocytosis at any time during treatment. Thyroid storm management, inhibiting new release with iodines. Iodine administration is not part of the urgent management because it must be given at least one hour after the thionamide administration, so it can be left to the admitting team. Either supersaturated potassium iodide, SSKI, or Lugol solution may be used. Thyroid storm management, glucocorticoids. Glucocorticoids have a known inhibitory effect on peripheral conversion of T4 to T3. Hydrocortisone and dexamethasone have been shown to improve outcomes in patients with thyroid storm. Improved survival is seen with early administration, especially in hypotensive patients given potential adrenal insufficiency. Thyroid storm management, alternative therapies. Cholestyramine is an adjunct therapy to thionamides, acting as an anion exchange resin used to decrease reabsorption of thyroid hormone in enterohepatic circulation. Plasmapheresis offers temporary stabilization for a patient that has been unresponsive to antithyroid medications, but is not a definitive therapy. Antithrombotic therapy can be given to patients with atrial fibrillation for stroke prevention. Here are some typical drugs and doses used in the treatment of thyroid storm. Propranolol 40 to 80 mg, given orally every 4 to 6 hours. Propylthiouracil 500 to 1000 mg, given orally followed by 250 mg every 4 hours. 
Mifimazole 20 mg, given orally every 4 to 6 hours. Supersaturated potassium iodide, SSKI, 5 drops by mouth every 6 hours. Hydrocortisone 100 mg, given intravenously every 8 hours. Dexamethasone 2 mg, given intravenously every 6 hours. Cholestyramine 4 g, given orally 4 times daily. Esmolol 250 to 500 micrograms per kilogram, given intravenously stat, followed by 50 to 100 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Cardioselective beta blockers such as atenolol or metaprolol should be chosen for patients with asthma. If there is a contraindication for the use of beta blockers, diltiazem is an alternative. Prognosis of thyroid storm The mortality associated with thyroid storm is estimated to be 8 to 25 percent despite modern advancements in its treatment and supportive measures. With treatment, most patients improve within 24 hours. However, risk factors for poor prognosis include advanced age, neurological deficits on admission, failure to use beta blockers and antithyroid medications, and the need for dialysis and or mechanical ventilation. Take-home message Thyroid storm is a rare but life-threatening condition that requires prompt diagnosis and management. The diagnosis of thyroid storm is clinical, and treatment should be started immediately based on clinical findings. The key clinical features are fever, altered mental status, and signs of sympathetic overactivity. Management includes Supportive care Blocking peripheral effects, beta blockade Inhibiting new synthesis, thionamides Inhibiting new release, iodines, and glucocorticoids. Healthcare professionals should be aware of these management strategies to avoid complications and improve patient outcomes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.